everybody, welcome back to Northern Alliance Challenge Runs. This is another X-Men themed run. I was hesitant to do it, but I think the time is ripe for us to do the X-Men cartoon theme song. -na 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 -na. Come on guys, join in if you know. Okay. Um, we're playing as Beast this time. This is a run suggested by YouTube user Northern Lion. That's right, I, I just recorded the uh, Juggernaut one and then I decided, you know what? I want to record another uh, run, but I want to take one that a lot of people are probably not going to be, you know, that excited about. To give me uh, runs, run ideas of their own. So this is Beast from X Men, or X Men. Oh my God! I've just made myself seem like I'm a 70 year old lady talking to her grandson about cartoons. In any case, Beast, if you're not familiar, was like the nerdy X Men who was like a little bit scary because he was super powerful with his animal instincts and physique and whatnot, but also uh, incredibly smart, which is what kind of characterized him. So I've started as Blue Baby because Beast is blue. He's a little hairier than this. Blue Baby's almost totally hairless. Uh, and because he's a genius, I've given myself uh, a book in the form of Monster Manuel, and I've, I've given myself unlimited item power with this as well. Also gave myself, yeah, pinky eyes probably a little better. Um, also gave myself unlimited item power, uh, and the PhD, and the x-ray goggles. So I have all of these smart items that I could think of. We're starting super underpowered, there's no question about that, but we're gonna see how we can make this work. The only condition for this run is going to be uh, that there are no... Uh, space bar items apart from Monster Manuel allowed. I'm excited to see how Monster Manuel works for us. I think it's probably gonna be garbage, although, wait a minute. I just popped Cube of Meat. I got Cube of Meat from Monster Manuel and it gave us third level Meat Boy. I thought it was only gonna give us level one Meat Boy, like a single cube that went around us. If this is how Monster Manuel works with Cube of Meat, that is the dopest shit ever. I'm all of a sudden not nearly as scared about how this run is gonna work. That got super weird because I had the Cube of Meat as well from that. Anyway! That's good, but we did lose a spirit heart on that fight. So obviously we're gonna try to make this work for a Sister Maggie, sure. I mean, Monster Man, I struggled with what item to take. I was like, what what item would Beast have? And I was like, well, I've gotta give him a book, but it doesn't seem right to give him like Necronomicon or Book of Belial, because those are like, I don't know, religious or supernatural artifacts. And Beast doesn't seem like the kind of guy who's into that sort of stuff, you know? So instead I decided he'd have like a how-to manual, and I decided that how-to manual would be like the Monster Manuel. Either that or Telepathy for Dummies. Uh, so this pill is bad gas. We're just gonna walk around for a second. This is speed up, so we'll definitely take that. We'll take the bad gas pill with us, uh, but we're not gonna use it immediately, as you can probably tell. Uh, we've got some advantages working in our favor. We've got some disadvantages, too, so I'm interested to see how this works out. Uh, Monster Manuel is very, very rarely gonna work out well for us, but there are times, you know, if it keeps giving us third level cube of meat on occasion, especially against bosses, uh, that could actually work out really well for us. Otherwise, I'm gonna be hoping for some awesome... Uh, items that allow us to replenish our spirit hearts. Oh, I can use this once a room, gotta remember. Uh, or we're gonna be probably in a difficult position unless I manage to get insane damage, which is probably unlikely. We have to do away with insane damage! Uh, spirit hearts, please. In fact, it almost probably would have been better off to just give myself uh, the relic or the mitre right off the bat, but then I was thinking, like, we're starting ourselves with a lot of advantages already. I've beaten the game as Blue Baby, it wasn't necessarily easy. Uh, but, I, but I've done it, and I've done it more than once, so we shouldn't make things too, too easy on ourselves. And giving ourselves rage is effing fantastic. Now I'm glad we didn't go with the red patch. Uh, but beyond this, this is gonna help us get our damage a little bit higher. And, you know, rage is kind of a characteristic trait of Beast, at least, you know, in the, the cartoon and uh, X-Men 3, The Stand, I guess, occasionally, a movie, or The Last Stand, uh, a movie that I think is pretty goddamn terrible, but I think everybody shares that opinion. Monster Manuel, please, thank you. Demon Baby, pretty solid, uh, familiar to just get randomly here. You know, when, when Beast is, uh, you know, just at his, uh, resting state, if you will, he's just a nice dude. I, I really want that dime and, uh, penny, but we can't get it right now. He's just a nice, like, thoughtful, very erudite man, uh, but... When he gets angry, he can he's capable of ripping some faces off. What is up? Okay, first off, what is up with that thing trying to kill me? But secondly, what is up with all the goddamn trinkets we've been getting right off the bat? Okay, so we get a little chubby. That's actually totally solid for taking out Pin. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get like a tactical strike. Come on. That was perfect. So every time we hit Pin with little chubby, we're gonna do a pretty solid amount of damage. If I could poison him too, I'd be happy. That's why I'm shooting frequently instead of picking my shots. Uh, because I kind of want to just get poison damage stacked up as well. That was bad damage to take. I don't want HP upgrades. I want ways to get extra HP, if that makes sense. So we're going to take Mom's Lipstick. Sure, it's something. Uh, in our deal with the Devil Room, we have the Nail and Lord of the Pit. Neither of which I can take. I, I mean, here's what I can do. I can take the Nail, pick it up, get a Spirit Heart, and then immediately put it back down. Pick up Monster Manual and leave. Seems like a bad idea. I'm not sure if this run is going to last all that long. 
Curse of the Labyrinth, uh, not great for us. Uh, Attack Fly, also, you know, not the best, best item we could possibly get here. But that's okay with only one of these dudes. We should be okay on the remainder of this room at the very least. Obviously, you gotta find a way to uh, get some better items. That is gonna necessitate a little gish. Yeah, it's okay. That's gonna necessitate uh, getting some more money so I can go to the shop. And, of course, getting some more keys so I can, A, go to the shop, and, B, go to both of the item rooms on this floor, which I absolutely need to do if we're gonna have any chance of winning overall. Also, a library, but I can't do anything about that. Okay, it's a little chubby again. Seem to be getting the uh, <clears throat> same items or same monsters over and over and over here which is fine by me as you know little chubby's pretty solid uh little chubby's pretty solid i swear officer it's not what you think careful careful not with the commentary careful with the shooting because i don't want to necessarily anger that fly when there's a lot of enemies in the room um the library is not that useful for us because i can't actually take anything but you know if i spend a key and get to pick up a free spirit art by way of a book of revelation something or something i'd be psyched Halo of Flies will not do much to protect us on this room, but I guess it is better than nothing. I really want these guys to take a shot at the uh, chest over here, but if I have to use my bomb, I will. And we got an extra key. Beautiful. I'm going to save that for an item room, but for now, uh, let's blow this up, see what we get in here. Another spirit art. Well worth the bomb, I would say. Little chubby again is fine by me. The poison damage is actually not to be uh, underestimated here too, at least it gives us a little bit of extra damage potential that allows us to, you know, get into a situation where we can start building that rage. Because we are still, that's like our biggest sore spot right now, is uh, that my, my base damage is so low, and in fact, that might give me a big advantage on this floor, yeah, especially if I, or this room I should say, if I can manage to hit the, oh, that was bad damage, but if I can manage to hit the uh, fly, the lifesteal won't help us with the poison damage, we'll finish that room off more easily than we otherwise would have. Halo of Flies is actually really helpful on this room. The money probably isn't, uh, but we'll try to get it anyway, because I'm fairly good these days at not getting hit by walking over the spikes. And of course, now that I've said it, I'm going to totally eat my words. Uh, but we're gonna try this regardless. So here we go. That was perfect. It's like a an air commercial airliner takeoff, man. You just gotta go through the checklist and abort the takeoff if anything seems like it's even slightly awry. At least I hope that's the the philosophy my pilots are using whenever I fly. Hopefully they don't fly like I fly in Arma and just like, oh whatever, this is a sloppy landing. Boss is gonna be mad at me for this one. Oh, 200 people died. Get over it, man. Shit happens. Okay, now. It's gonna move around here. We're still safe. I really wanted that poison damage to hit. Should we fight the boss right away? It's, it's always the question when you have kind of an underpowered run. Are things gonna get better than they are now or worse? I'm gonna bank on worse and this boss is not that difficult. Brother Bobby is a nice little uh, kind of bonus for us to have uh, to be able to do damage to this guy. Blighted Ovum is not so hard. With my speed I will be able to... Oh, that was bad. But I will be able to uh, get out of this without causing too many problems to myself. I didn't even get hit afterwards, which is beautiful. Pageant Boy may indeed prove beneficial if I could actually get to the shop. Let's check out our second boss here and try not to die, of course. All right, we get lucky. It's another fairly easy boss. We get a little chubby. And if we can manage to land little chubby like we did right there, uh, this guy should be out of commission very, very soon. We got pretty lucky with the uh, two bosses we ended up fighting on this floor. Possibly the two easiest bosses we could have dealt with at this point. That was super easy. Now we gotta deal with the flies, which is actually substantially harder, uh, but we have our rage built up, so I'll be able to take them out super easily. Poison damage got him. One more, two more shots, I guess, on this guy will be enough. There we go. We get Squeezy, which is fantastic. Two more spirit hearts, more beneficial than anything else probably we could have gotten. Realistically speaking, we got Brimstone, and we've got the old um, Ouija board, neither of which really appeal to me. I mean, Brimstone I love, of course, as you know. However, uh, to only have half of a spirit heart means that Brimstone is probably not going to be worth it in the end. Again, Halo of Fly is not the best item I could possibly get in this situation. But let's just fire in some poison shots. Again, as Beast, we're pretty much playing a War of Attrition here. Now, I gotta admit, I'm a little bit surprised that things have been going so well. I mean, we're, we're 10 minutes in. We're almost, I mean, we're technically done with those, like, this floor set so far. All I gotta do is come back here, which is probably going to take us a little while, and uh, get the item rooms. But in any case, and that's secret rooms too, I guess. In any case, uh, I'm, I'm happy about it. Forever Alone, I didn't realize, was a homing attack fly. Is that what happened there? No, it can't possibly be. That's not something that I believe I could possibly miss for this long. Uh, I mean, I've, I've missed a great many important things, but still. I'm gonna play this. Uh, see if we get spirit art, see if we get trinkets, see if we get keys. At 15 cents, I will stop, because that is the 
basically the highest amount of money we could need to make the shop worthwhile. Uh, we did get a tarot card, and the tarot card is the chariot, which is pretty effective. I uh, might want to save that, but I might just plow through it as quickly as possible to make rooms like this one super easy. Well, easy come, easy go on that. Uh, we have Robo Baby, which should let us blow up this TNT very easily, and indeed it did. And I would actually, I would welcome getting more familiars just as item drops, because uh, that would help us, you know, having more than one familiar, it almost feels like it has like a synergistic effect. Like if I was to permanently have Robo Baby and then also be able to bring in like Demon Baby from time to time, it almost feels like it makes both of them better. That's probably just me... Uh, imp not imprinting, that's like some goo premature goose shit. Um, I don't even know. Projecting, that's the one. That's the, the Freudian psychological tactic or defense mechanism. Probably projecting m my own interests onto the game, uh, but that's the way my hunches lie here. Let's see what we've got in this item room. Razor Blade! You know, I hear Razor Scooters are so dangerous that kids, the parents have started buying their kids Razor Blades. Ah, ra Razor Blades, everybody. That's... Not so good. That was a... Uh, I didn't make that joke up. If I did, I would be employed as a professional comedian. That's actually Frank Caliendo of Mad TV fame doing a Jay Leno impression, which probably makes it better or worse, depending on what your perspective is. I was really hoping this would be the shop, and I would just come out into a glorious retail uh, heaven here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna try not to die. Uh, we do only have half a spirit heart left. Further cementing. The idea that Northern Lion should not make his own challenge rounds. I'm just trying to find the second item room. Little Chubby, that's good. Come at me. Chubby, you're strong enough. And god dang it, people like you. I need more spirit arts. Just survive. We're at 12 minutes. I, I It would be so sad if I lost to these guys after doing so well against the bosses. Uh, I shouldn't die on this room. So we should at least have a chance of getting to that item room. But we'll see. Okay, we're still alive. No spirit heart, sadly. Uh, ten extra bombs, not all that effective. So how am I gonna do this? I think my next course of action is quite honestly... Uh, no, we still want to go to the shop, don't we? Well, I guess we should come around this way then. Uh, I don't like this room, but we shouldn't die if I take things slow. So we're just gonna very, very slowly take these guys out because I want to put myself at literally zero risk well there's no such thing as I guess literally zero risk but we're gonna be very very patient very methodical try not to walk on the spikes uh, we're gonna see if the shop is down here this is a tough room no that was the worst way it could have possibly gone god damn it Northern Lion your runs are imbalanced in the favor of the game you should have imbalanced it in favor of yourself but in any case that was my attempt at a beast run, which ended up being very unbeastly. But in any case, thank you to me for that challenge run suggestion. Again, this was just kind of like a bumper episode to give you guys more time to come out with uh, X-Men themed episodes. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.